Continuing coverage of the IG report out today. Well, despite a number of explosive revelations, some lawmakers are still suggesting that parts may have been redacted. Joining me now to give us exclusive reaction is House Intel Chair Devin Nunez. Congressman, this is what we've all been waiting for um, on this matter, on the uh, Hillary email matter. Your initial reaction. The first thing I can think of is, is there was information that we got today at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, that actually Chairman Gowdy had to call and tell me what it was, text messages that we had been asking for since late last year. Now these are text messages that clearly were pertinent to our investigation into FISA abuse and the Russia investigation, whether or not there was collusion. These are emails or text messages that somebody held from us. So every day that goes by, there is a new example of obstruction of a congressional investigation. So I want to read to you uh, an exchange between Lisa Page and Peter Strzok, the star-crossed lovers. Um, she basically said, you know, she was, you know, we're worried. He's, Donald Trump's not going to le get elected, right? Right? And he answers, you know, basically, don't worry. We'll stop it. No, 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 no. We'll stop it. Right. That's, what does that tell you? Well, <laughs> What's the worse, lead investigator. That's, that's the lead bad investigator. Okay, he was the lead investigator on the Clinton email case. He's the lead investigator that starts off the the counterintelligence investigation, using our intelligence agencies to go after and target the Trump campaign. This is the guy who leads that off. But worse than all that, worse than all that, and I just want to repeat what I said in the opening. Why wasn't that given to Congress? Why did I find out about that today at noon? I mean, this is a classic case of obstruction. But then the question is, who's going to go investigate these guys? I mean, you know, we're going to come out. We're going to be very transparent with the American people. We're ultimately going to get all the documents that we want. Uh, and ultimately, this is all going to spill out. And then people are going to ask, well, what are you going to do? Who's going to get, who's going to get busted? Who's going to go to jail? So Lisa Page's text was released before, but the struck, don't worry, we'll stop it. No, 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 no we'll stop it. Right. That came today. And why is, could, how could that have possibly been redacted? And that's the problem. They keep blacking things out across the board, not giving us documents that at the end of the day always end up being very pertinent to our investigation. Uh, the IG wrote the following in one part of the report. Under these circumstances, we did not have confidence that Strzok's decision to prioritize the Russia investigation over the following up on the mid-year related investigative lead discovered on the Wiener laptop was free from bias. So the IG cannot confidently state that that decision was not free from bias. But they're all dining out on the fact on the left, well, there was no political bias on the part of Comey that was found. So they're trying to really downplay it. Yeah, and let me tell you what we know about that at the time. So we actually had, and I've never actually said this before, um, because we had whistleblowers, but we couldn't really use the information. But now that it's in the IG report, we can. We had whistleblowers that came to us in late September of 2016 who talked to us about this laptop sitting up in New York that had additional emails on it. I mean, the House Intelligence Committee, we had that, but we, we couldn't do anything with it. When so, was that again? In 2016. What, do you know when exactly? Uh, I think it was late September. Okay, so the, ultimately, th they didn't move on this until so, late so, October. So good FBI agents brought this to our attention, but what could we do with it? Well, there's another exchange I want to bring to your attention. Um, because you know why I say that? Because it was all classified. And this is the game that Comey and company have been playing, is they hide behind this top classification. Secret, top, can't, top secret can't, classification. Can't talk about it. Well, they all thought Hillary was going to win. And rocking the boat was tough. He made a decision to go after that laptop because th he thought, oh, if someone finds out about it, they're going to think the whole election was illegitimate. Mm -hmm. And then they quickly dispensed with it. Nothing and, and, here to worry about. And you know what? I, that's true. But also what's true is, is that I think the same people in charge today still believe they can run the clock out. And they're trying to run the clock out for the rest of this Congress so we can't finish our investigations. Are there still people in the FBI today who believe they operate by a different set of rules? At the top. At the top, I think that is still true. I mean, we, we heard some great words today from Christopher Ray, the new director. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, it's a little bit frustrating because we've had these very conversations with him many months ago where we said, look, you're not responsible for any of, the, any of this. You need to clean this up, and we'll support you in cleaning this up. But yet, 
here it is, today we get this text message at noon today, one that's absolutely pertinent to our investigation. Now maybe they have a good excuse for it, but it, the problem with it is, is if they didn't give it to us, it's a problem. But if they didn't know about it, it's an even bigger problem because who was obstructing the investigation? All right, there's some other things we got to get to. There's another exchange. Um, FBI attorney sent a uh, number two. They don't identify who this is. And I think it's important to know who this is. Uh, for some reason, we can't get the person's name. FBI attorney number two sent an instant message to FBI attorney number one commenting on the amount of money the subject of an FBI investigation had been paid while working on the Trump campaign, someone they were looking at, some, how much they get paid. FBI Attorney One says, is it making you rethink your commitment to the Trump administration? FBI Attorney Number Two says, hell no, viva la resistance. Yeah, that's, it's awful. It's awful. I mean, the resistance. Well, but, the resistance to Trump winning and then, is apparently, I mean, for all we know, still working at the FBI. So and they're are, blowing this off on other networks saying this isn't important. Well, now there's five. I think there's five now. <laughs> the IG report, I think, that, uh, and I have to get through it all, but there's five people who have been kicked off the campaign, right? So if there's five people who have been kicked off the campaign, or I mean, off the Mueller team, how is it possible that if you look at the rest of the people that are there, I mean, they were all Clinton donors. So you know, I don't know how this is this is going to end up uh, fairly. I, I don't know where this is. Should going. we learn the names of these these attorneys who are, who are sending are not, these messages? I, I We're part of the resistance. I don't know why, unless they're an undercover agent. An attorney. They're why. identified as attorneys. Then it should not be classified name. No, unless they're working undercover, then it should not be classified. Um, name. We also but have. This a, is the type of stuff that always happens. This is. I mean, so now I know how you feel because I feel like it's happening to the whole country now. So yeah. <laughs> let's. There was another issue uh, involving the employees, FBI employees, at every level of the organization. This is from the report. When with no official reason to be in contact with the media, who were nevertheless in frequent contact with reporters. The large number of FBI employees who were in contact with journalists during this time period impacted our ability to identify the sources of leaks. We also found out, of course, they, they were giving they were giving getting benefits from right. well, uh, that, journalists, getting perks, getting they're, tickets, they're, getting they're, they've meals. Been they've been leaking like crazy. And but but the problem with it is, is the IG report discovered that that this happened a couple years ago. But don't forget the leak that just occurred last week, where at midnight the Department of Justice sends out this that that Devin Nunes and Paul Ryan had a chance to read documents and they didn't read them. I mean, remember that? That oh, was yeah, yeah. that was a leak in the middle of the night, a midnight kind of press release so that we would wake up in the morning and have to answer all this new narrative that they're creating that Republicans ask for documents and don't read them. I mean, this is what we're dealing with. So it's not as if the leaks have actually stopped. Now they're just doing it. It's the FBI people that were leaking. Now it's just like at the top level of the Department of Justice that's leaking. Um, there was a, a few people in the media today, more than a few, downplaying all of this. I want to play for you a little short montage. Let's watch. I expected a sledgehammer. We just got the same kind of hammer you used to nail in a, uh, a painting on the wall. I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I, I was surprised at how mild it was. If you look at this assault on the FBI that has taken place over the last year and a half, that has been the, the you know the clarion call of some of the opposition saying that you know these are crooks. They're corrupt. They tried to throw an election. This report does not say that. Congressman. Well, if you look at the, the one gentleman on there, I mean, that's a guy that's one of Comey's buddies. He was working at the FBI. I mean, look, this is a lot of these agencies, or a lot of the other networks have just hired all these former FBI and DOJ and Clinton people and Obama people. I mean, that's just what this is. Yeah, Josh Campbell, old buddy of uh, Comey. So nothing there to see. Nothing this to is see. all this is all good. Uh, Congressman, there. you still have a lot more uh, to get to with the with the Russia investigation, and, and you'll still be going we're, you after know, we're, these we're almost there. We're almost there. But, you know, there's a reason and why they've been hiding these documents for two months. And this and report probably confirms. very similar to what you found in the IG report. Thank you so much. Appreciate you coming in tonight. Anytime. Thank you.